First tonight at 5.30, Pawtucket's mayor telling lawmakers to act now on a new Paw Sox stadium. Mayor Donald Grebian made that plea, warning them if they don't take action, they could lose the team. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now in studio with the new development. Steve. Uh, guys, the Pawtucket mayor said the city is nearing doomsday, the possibility of losing the Paw Sox. He urged state leaders to act fast on the current deal, but said if they don't, he has a backup plan ready to go. The future of the Paw Sox will not be here at McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket. I mean, Tuesday, you know, Donald Grebian, the mayor of Pawtucket, warned if the legislature doesn't act fast, the team's future may not even be in Rhode Island. The Worcester Mass deal is real. Make no mistake about it. Adding to the seriousness of the Massachusetts pitch, Boston media outlets were part of the press corps as reporters asked questions. Time is against us, and that's what this really is about for us today. The current bill being debated in Rhode Island would build the team a new stadium in Pawtucket at the Apex site. The governor says it's a good deal. The legislature needs to do its job. You know, we shouldn't have to get into a bidding war. It's being heard in the Senate, but it's made no headway in the House. As the bill stands now, the state would finance $26 million. The city would borrow $18 million. An opponent, the state Republican Party chair, said in a statement, state House politicians would be making a big mistake if they think they can vote for this new Paw Sox deal and get reelected. What we nearly have reached is doomsday. In a new twist, Grebian has announced a plan B. If the General Assembly doesn't have the courage and they're willing to throw it to Worcester, We'll figure that out. Grebian suggests if the state will give Pawtucket the yearly state taxes involving the team, that's around $2.2 million a year, the city would finance both shares, $44 million, cutting the state out entirely. But it really is about pushing them to do the right thing. They've got a great deal on the table. Let's get this done. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello said in a statement that he hasn't heard Grebian's backup plan yet, but he said the House would be willing to assess it. He also added the first deal should be renegotiated so that it's more acceptable to the citizens of Rhode Island. Grebian's hoping for some resolution in January. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.